Hello, my name is Ronke. Welcome to another short video that demonstrates exercises that we can do in the comfort of the home. And today, I'll be focusing on exercises that can help to reduce knee pain. Now, knee pain is a common occurrence, especially as we get older. Now, it can be caused by so many factors, but whatever the cause, regular exercises and maintaining healthy weight can reduce knee pain. Now, I like to say that if you are experiencing knee pain that has been lingering on for a long time, kindly see your doctor so that they'll be able to ascertain the exact cause of the pain and then guide you on the proper treatment that will help with the pain. But for general populace, that sometimes we go through knee pain once in a while, these are exercises that are generally recommended, and as you do them, it reduces uh, the pain. You know, generally, as we go about our daily activities, we use all the joints, we use different joints in the body, especially the knee and the hip joint. But today we are focusing on the knee, and it experiences regular wear and tear, which the body repairs by itself. But sometimes that process of repairing itself can become impaired and it can lead to knee pain. Okay, so I have five exercises that I'm going to demonstrate and you can do them at home over and over again at your own convenience. The first one is what I call seat to stand. So if you can sit at the edge of the chair, your knee over your ankle, pull your abs and your back straight, your hands by your side, Without any support, gently, slowly come to a standing position, shifting your weight to your heel, and then go back and sit down again. So you do this for one minute and see how many you can do within that one minute. So slowly you come up and then you go back down. Again, slowly come up and then back down. So this is the first exercise and we call it sit to stand. Okay, now the second exercise is what I'm going to call the, you're going to extend the right leg, just extend the leg and then point your toes towards the ceiling. Now as you do that, you're going to feel a tension around your knee joint. This is good as it helps to strengthen the muscles Apart from the muscles of the front eye, the muscles around your knee joint. And then you bring it down, and then chain to the other leg. And you flex, point your toes towards the ceiling, and then bring it down. You hold it for a few seconds. You hold it, you're gonna feel tension around your knee, which is okay, and then back. So you can do this 10 times. So this is the second exercise. Then you do leg press, and that's it. So the third one, you're going to cross your ankle, bring your right on top of your left, or your left on top of your right, and hold it until you feel a lot of tension around your thighs, and you hold it as long as you can, and then you rest, and then you do it again. So if you need support, Hold on to your chair, you can sit back again a little bit more. Extend both legs and cross the ankle. And hold it as far as you can. As long as you can, you feel the tension around your thighs. You keep holding it as long as you can. And then you release. You rest for a few seconds or one minute, and then you do it again. So that's the third one. The fourth one is the basic one. You step up and down. I'm using a stepper. If you don't have a stepper at all, if you have staircase, you can use that as well. So you place your own foot on the bench, and then you bring it down. You step up. When you step on the bench or you're using your staircase, ensure that you maintain an upright body position, avoid pushing forward so that you don't fall over, and in order not to injure yourself, 
placed all of your foot on the bed instead of doing it halfway round, halfway. That can also cause you to fall backward and injure yourself. So you can do this for one minute, as much as you can handle, maintain upright body positioning, and step up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. So you can do this for one minute, rest, and then go back again and do it the second time. Now the last one, you're going to bend your right leg, stay close to the chair, or you can use the wall for support, and gently keep your feet if we distance apart. Now bend your right leg, as you bend it, you bring your heel towards your butt as close as you can. You're going to feel a, a stretch here, but it's also good for your knee. And avoid, you know, transferring your weight to the other leg. Still maintain that long, nice, tall body position. And then you release. Do the same thing to the other side. You bend. Hold it nice. And you release. See, just do as much as you can within one minute. And release. So, so those are the few exercises that you can do in the comfort of the home to reduce knee pain. I hope you find them useful. Hope to come your way another time. Bye for now.